obviously the pavement's textured so it's not going to go through the crevices so what i'm doing right now is just wetting the chalk that way it can soak into the crevices and spread out evenly that way it can get just a, a little bit smoother of a finish What is your favorite kind of thing that you capture? Uh, I want the intensity. I, if I can get eyes, if I can get people looking at the other artwork, if I can get the artists looking at their artwork, uh, because everyone sees into people's eyes. The fact is, if you see that, you have that one-on-one -on -one connection with people. It's like a connection to somebody's soul. Like yes, that's why I look at it. So like when you look at the, look at someone or look uh, have a conversation with somebody, you get to connect with them better. You're into the conversation you're like mm. oh, yeah that's yeah, what you're talking about yeah. I, I just think that anytime that you can get eyes it doesn't matter like if there's a balloon going up even like if kids are like you got like the kid lost the balloon and they're like that they're surprised and mom and dad are whatever you know there's another five dollars on the balloon but the kid yeah. is like so intense looking at that balloon and you mm. think it's a balloon but their eyes just look like like a piece of watermelon or someone's just you know yeah you're just it, fascinated by it, it, it so that's what if you can grab those shots mm -hmm. and that's something I didn't realize till I was 28 because I was taking a lot of photos that I was taking were great vacation pictures mm -hmm. and then I was looking for a job and someone said this is what you want this is and then I go uh, yeah. and then it just turned my vibe around when I've been vlogging and stuff, mm -hmm. what I've noticed is that I have friends who do a lot of like crafts and they do a lot of cool things. Yeah. So what I've noticed is that I like to go up with them and just hang out with them. One of my friends is a tattoo artist, so I was just like watching him draw and I was just asking him questions about whatever. I like to go hiking a lot. Yeah. So he was like, actually look in this book, I have a drawing of somebody on a mountain walking. And then I was like, dude, I literally told you that I like hiking, but I, when I look at this mountain behind me or so, I look at him like, I can't believe I made it up there. He's like, dude, I literally wrote that in my picture. So it's like, we're all pretty much connected. We all look through um, life in a different lens, but once we're able to share that with each other, mm -hmm. we all connect with it. Look at the Right now, Red Clay by Jack Wilkins. <laughs> if you are a fan of A Tribe Called Quest, you would immediately recognize the sample and beat this off. He was just spinning some game, bro. He was like telling me what shots are good and he was just teaching me a lot of stuff, bro. Fuck yeah. That's good, dude. He was showing me, dude, he's got like three, four million views on some photos. So uh, how long you been working today, bro? Well, I got here like around nine. Okay. Nine, I got all my packet, my information, found out where my spot is and um, started working at it. It was nice this morning, but now it's hot. Let's talk about the thought process when you created this piece, bro. Because you created this a while ago, huh? Oh yeah, um, I applied to this uh, chalk festival back in like April, May. Okay. Uh, it took a couple months to finally get accepted. Yeah, this is supposed to be the Templo Mayor, Temple of the Sun in Mexico City. Obviously, just the Temple of the Sun behind it, the rays of sunshine beaming onto Earth. Um, the sport is just reminiscent from my style. That's what I like to do. And um, eventually, we'll have some words to it. To it. So, we'll be creando un nuevo estilo, cre creatividad a lo nuevo. So it's just representing the culture, representing a new way to express yourself. Something that's not too uh, niche from our, from what our culture is used to, like a typical uh, iconography that we always represent. I mean, yes, it's a temple, but it's bold, bold colors, like our beautiful homeland of Mexico. 
artists were at the Denver Chalk Art Festival. I forgot my mic, so I gotta speak louder. But there's a lot of cool art around here. A lot of people using chalk to create any images that they've created before. A lot of cool people are out here. You know, out in the sun, it's like 90 something degrees. As you can see behind me, a lot of people are, you know, make, doing their paintings and all that stuff with their chalk. So it's a lot of stuff to admire, honestly. Uh, I talked to an artist earlier, his name is Todd. He does a lot of photography and he was a very inspirational dude. Talked about, you know, just keeping, keeping up on your habits and, you know, following your dreams with this and that. You know, following your dreams with all the photography that you're doing and just don't be afraid to shoot whatever you want. Um, art is what you make it and he's got a lot of interesting shots. He just encourages to just take, you know, fuck it. Why not? Yes, sir, it's a process. Yes, sir. Almost there. When you're done painting this, bro, what are you gonna treat yourself to, bro? You deserve something. Fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I'm just doing it just because I just wanted the experience of doing it. I wanted to teach myself and tell myself that I'm able to do shit like this at a grand scale. So, and not only at a grand scale, but in like like in a day and a half to maybe two days. So. To me, that's pretty efficient, that's quick, and happy. Would you say this is uncomfortable, bro? To like paint this on, on the sidewalk where it's hot? hot? It's fucking hot. Right now, it wasn't bad in the morning. Like, from like 9 to like 1, it wasn't bad. But now, like, the pavement's starting to get hot as fuck. It's hot as fuck in general. Uh, I ran out of cold water. Fuck. <laughs> and uh, I've just been in the sun all day. I'm gonna get all dark, I'm gonna get burnt. So. It's work, it's work. Working. That's right. why that's why I'm like that's why I give respect to anyone who works construction or anyone who works outside all day because goddamn no matter what the fuck the conditions are, you gotta do it and put in the work. So. It's not even real personal. Respect. Bro. I was gonna add more like letters, but I was like, dude, it's fucking hot and I got that. <laughs> and you have uh, and that this is over tomorrow? This is over tomorrow. But I don't have to go back tomorrow. So Not only did I want to stand out, I was also running out of blue. So I thought you to improvise and use more green and the orange, especially with the yellow and the pale. So, and it looks like a rainbow and people like it. All the little kids are like, oh my gosh, rainbow. But this stretch right here, where originally it was a different color, but you changed it up a little bit. Always got to improvise, bro. Always. It never goes according to plan. No. So you always got to just... Appreciate what you can create because no one can recreate what you can create.